Vending machines are more likely to kill you than sharks. So redditors who know someone killed by a vending machine, what was their story? It looks like I'm the only one that actually knows someone killed this way. I grew up in NYC and our building had a bunch of vending machines on the basement level where they had all the washers and dryers for residents. A woman had her three kids with her while she was doing the laundry, all under the age of 10. The two older ones were screwing around pushing the vending machine and it ended up falling over on the two year old, killing her. So I actually know someone who died this way. When I worked at a paper factory, one of the foremen on the night shift went to the vending machine to get a snack. Machine was old and crappy and of course stole his dollar. He then starts rocking the machine back and forth and it fell over on him. The machine falling on him didn't kill him actually. It was the heart attack from the panic of being trapped under it that did it. If the machine had been near the front of the building, then someone might have heard him screaming for help. But he was way in the back in the break room. No one would have been able to hear him over the sound of the machines. Actually, if he had simply went to get a snack a little closer to break time, someone could have found him before he died too. He had only been trapped for an hour and a half before someone found his body. R.I.P. Jim Carter. Didn't know you well, but I liked what I knew. Not killed, but lost her leg. Her and a friend were trying to rock and tip over a 7-up machine because if you got it down the cans would just start coming out. They got it going back and forth and down it went, right onto her leg below the knee. They couldn't repair the leg enough to save it and lopped it off. I believe she was 16 at the time. I knew someone killed by a vending machine. This would have been back in the late 80s. He worked at a gas station, back when they still did car repair. Pretty simple really. He put money in, didn't get his pop, so he tilted the top forward, the machine tipped over and squished him, died of a head injury, he was just an average guy, not dumb by any means, just one of those things. Back in the day in US, I know a lady who broke her leg when a cigarette vending machine fell on her. Didn't die but I knew a kid in community college who cut his leg by drop kicking a vending machine, his fritters didn't drop and got stuck. He tried shaking it and smacking it and it didn't budge. This dude looked around to make sure campus security wasn't around. He gets a running start and drop kicks the glass. It freaking didn't shatter completely so he ended up dangling from the machine with his leg stuck in it. His own weight added enough pressure to cut open his leg on the shattered glass and there was blood everywhere. Medics had to come and take him away. My uncle ate ding dongs out of a vending machine at his work for 30 years. Then one day. Boom. Heart attack. Frick that machine. Ding. Dong. Dead. A gripping look into the modern pandemic of heart disease and delicious treats. Never knew anyone being killed by a vending machine. But when I was a stoner in university some friends and I spent hours capturing a small possum in the surrounding yards. We put the possum in the vending machine and he knocked all the food down. Then we released him back to the wild and we feasted on excess snacks like any stoner would. The story is actually really sad. Something like 10 years ago in my town, a boy around 8 or so was killed by a vending machine in Walmart. His drink didn't fall out and he reached inside the bottom of the machine to grab it. Instead of grabbing a drink, he grabbed a wire and electrocuted himself. He died instantly. The family was able to sue Coca-Cola and Walmart because of it. They got millions of dollars and built a 3 story house in the middle of nowhere. I'm confused how there could be access to a wire on the bottom of a vending machine where the snacks fall since it's always just a large tray kind of thing. My friend was surfing and while he was sitting on the outside waiting for a set to come through suddenly without warning he was struck from beneath by a fast moving Pepsi machine. It grabbed him by the leg, dragged him under the water and ripped him to shreds. Although I miss my friend greatly I don't hold any hate for the Pepsi machine. It was in its natural environment and was just acting according to its instincts, doing what Pepsi machines do. At the college in my town, mid 80s there was a kid who was electrocuted while doing a handstand with his feet across two vending machines. The machines weren't grounded right or there was a hot wire touching the case or something. I'm not really sure of those details. Handstand with his feet. I assume I'm interpreting this wrong. Because it seems to me that this is just normal standing. 
About a week after I moved away for college, the big news in my tiny hometown was that the Piggly Wiggly caught on fire. Evidently a homeless woman put a dollar into the coke vending machine and it ate her money. She got pee off and ran over to the newspaper machine. Spent another dollar and grabbed all of the newspapers. Then she crumbled up the newspapers. Stuffed them into the vending machine. And set that bee on fire. The vending machine went up quicker than expected. Followed by the piggy wiggly. Last I heard no one died. But I think some old folks may have had some smoke inhalation problems and she went to jail for vandalism. Can't blame her. I feel like she did what every one of us would if we had the balls to. I work in the basement of an academic institution. Only a thin membrane of drywall shields my office from the vending machine. Most of our employees and visitors have advanced degrees. But not a day goes by without someone pounding on the machine with ape-like fury. I am amazed that more people aren't killed by vending machines. People shake them with tremendous force. I feel that a vending machine will inevitably come crashing through the wall and kill me. Make sure your desk and body are out of the vending machine zone when you hear people fighting with it. Not vending machine but similar. An ATM. Dude was trying to crack it open from below and calling his wife a skank. She pushed the machine and smashed his head. M heads are scary. Yo. We were out for a motorcycle trip and had put on about 800 kilometers that day. It was hot, really hot, and we both ended up a little dehydrated. Despite our best efforts, we pulled into a motel at the end of the day, and we were feeling pretty beat up. I guess he more than I. Dehydration is a heck of a thing. It was too late, and the restaurant was closed so it was another vending machine meal. Old style machines. Motel in the middle of nowhere. Total paranoia from owners do not stick hands in machines. Do not rock machines. Etc. I was sitting on the sidewalk eating beef jerky, cheetahs and root beer, and he was staring at the machine like he was drunk. Like I said, dehydration is a heck of a thing. He'd already put his cash in, and was deciding what to get. And when finally made his choice, the machine decided to do that ha. Huh? Nope thing and kinda twisted up. He lost it. He was kicking it, hitting it. He grabbed it with both hands and started rocking it. Finally, he got on his hands and knees and stuck his arm inside it. Dunno how they got it in there, or how they kept it alive. But that dang shark tore his arm off. And he bled out right there in the parking lot. Don't stick your arms in vending machines kids. Just don't. Sharknado 5. It's vending time. Well I don't know anyone who's been killed by a vending machine. But there was this one machine that I bought a Pepsi from. And about a half an hour later it dispensed another Pepsi. So I gave it to a friend of mine. Had a drunken soldier in my unit rocking the barracks vending machine until it fell over on him. That was a Friday night. CQ found him the next morning, dead. It apparently had tipped back on him. Causing him to smack his skull off the concrete and crushed his ribcage, hips, and legs. He either could have died instantly when his head hit the ground, or slowly while his organs ruptured and his lungs filled with fluid. There was really no way to tell. That was probably the second longest safety brief I've stood through. My friend actually had to be in the hospital for about two weeks with serious contusions. Basically his chips got stuck so he started banging on the glass like any other person would and the front leg of the machine broke and collapsed onto him before he was able to get out of the way. I didn't see him but apparently his entire front of the body was bruised seriously and he fractured his pelvis. Makes me think twice before I made all this up. There's a vending machine in my favorite pub that doesn't work particularly well. The sun chips pretty much constantly get stuck. The bartender always solves this by shaking the heck out of the machine, which always results in rollers for us and sun chips for her. Hopefully the dang thing never collapses and I never have anything truly pertinent to post in this thread. For reference, this is right next door to the shark bite capital of the world, so we all know someone who knows someone who's been bitten by a shark. My great uncle got killed by a fruit machine if that counts at all. He was driving with one in the back of his car, IDKY, and had to slam the brakes on. It slid forward and hit him in the back of the neck killing him instantly. Fruit machine. Slot machine for the Americans.
When I was in the navy, our ship hit extremely rough seas and we had a vending machine fall over and kill a sailor. I did not know him personally, but it was fairly traumatic for the whole crew. We spent the next few days properly fastening all of the vending machines to the bulkhead. One of my ex-girlfriends got her hand stuck in a vending machine after school. She was apparently stuck like that for 2 hours before someone noticed. Janitor? I can't remember. It was 20 plus years ago. This was a month or so before I dated her. She told me that she had bawled her eyes out and screamed and no one heard her. Bald, the word is bald. Friendo. Thanks for the visual, though. Not killed, but in college some kid smashed his foot into a fine paste when he shook it for eating his money. Just fell right at him and he didn't jump far enough back. This seems like a retarded ratio. Like the magnitude and frequency of people around vending machines does not compare to the time we spend in the same vicinity as sharks. I'd like to know the proportion of people who have shared space with sharks and been attacked, regardless of injury and see how that weighs in. A guy in the dorms had the munchies at 2am, and rocked the machine a little too much. He started to back away as it tipped and it hit him hard above the knee and shattered his femur. He was stuck there for nearly 4 hours. Just as uncaring as a shark, it maimed when it could have well killed. His name was Rick. Now, Rick was the kind of guy who would give you the shirt off his back, but, he was kinda sketchy, too. Rick had developed a trick that would get him free snack bars from the old vending machine at the park. Well, one fine day, Rick was trying to show off to some cute girls we met. He tried to bump, hump and shove the vending machine in the sweet spot with all his might. Apparently, the local park department had caught on to Rick, and replaced the old machine with a new and improved one. Not to be outdone by a machine and hurt his pride, Rick violently kicked the front side of the machine where you are supposed to insert your money. It was the worst mistake of Rick's life. Literally, the machine fell over onto him, and the girls and I freaked the frick out trying to lift it. We called 911 and had to wait over 15 minutes for police and medics to arrive. They told us it killed him instantly, but I think they lied, as his hand was twitching. But when we accepted that lifting the behemoth was impossible, I sat by Rick's side and held his hand. R.I.P. Rick. I miss you. I have a story. Friend of mine went drinking with other friends. They all s faced and wanted some snacks and went to the vending machine standing near the park. They drop half of the coins because they were so drunk and it took a while to get the snacks. Friend wanted a certain snack that didn't come out and he tried to push and shake the machine to make the snack fall. Instead the machine did. On him. He couldn't breathe and the others couldn't lift it because too drunk. They wasted so much time with falling over each other instead of calling help that my friend suffocated. It was his birthday. Not truly a vending machine but a punching machine. Some kid died like 5-6 months ago while playing the punch machine in a bar. His friend got sentenced for accidental manslaughter I think. I'd have to relook into the newspaper. But the story is that he held onto the bag area and it fell down on the other boy who died on impact. My stepdad bought a vending machine route as a hobby. Long story. And I helped him run it on the weekend. The vending machines are very, very front end heavy and when the door opens you feel it tilt forward if it's not full. I'd imagine all the deaths from vending machines happen because of the tip forward. Also, loading and unloading those bastards is not fun. We stopped doing it ourselves and vending companies actually have people trained to do it as they don't recommend you do it yourself. I actually think Pepsi requires their people do it for their machines even though servicing them is outsourced. I had the reverse happen. I was at work one day and asked a co-worker if he had a quarter. I had a dollar, but the item I wanted was one dollar and twenty-five cents. He didn't have it either, so walked out to talk to one of our mechanics. Hey Jim, the machine ate Bilka's dollar. Jim screamed. That freaking machine. It was one of the old school lance machines and Jim ran at it and started rocking it back and forth. He had it at about a 30 degree angle and slammed it against the wall. All the little spirals that hold the snacks in fell out and the machine dumped its entire contents. Jim killed the lance vending machine. It was a dark and stormy night and my friend was quietly reading around the fire, when a loud knock at the door stirred him from the pages of his book. With the sound of rain and soft footsteps echoing around the cabin he went to answer the door. 
The second before his hand reached the knob the door was kicked in. He laid on the floor in an orgy of splinters and confusion. A dark and ominous figure stood in the doorway, lightning streaking across the sky illuminating this newfound nemesis and turned it from a mystery murderer to someone he had known and known well. The vending machine from work. He got to his feet and tried to run, but the behemoth bore down upon him. A mechanical shadow in the night the only light coming from was cast by its green glowing screen that simply said time to die Carl. About 9 years ago I was out on the west coast trying to buy a Mountain Dew downtown when suddenly the freaking pop machine turned into a robot or something and started shooting cans at people. He got my buddy right in the face, and his head popped like a ripe tomato. The vast majority of stories are going to be someone got ripped off by the machine or was trying to rip off the machine. It started rocking it and then it fell on them and they died. I don't know anyone who was killed by a vending machine, but my friends and I easily could have been, in high school, for a good, maybe year or two, we were the Robin Hoods of a particular common area, there was a row of vending machines, and virtually no supervision in this area, we played hacky sack over by the machines, so we had the best view of them, and what began as us trying to get something out of there after a machine ripped us off transformed into us every day, or at least once they refilled the machines, getting as much stuff out of those machines as we could. This usually involved one of us holding the bottom of the machine in place while someone else rocked the top end of the machine back and forth. It would get banging around pretty good, and the racks of candy and stuff would come loose and fall forward and we'd get between 4 and 12 items each time we did this, though we could never get all the stuff at the back. We kept what we wanted and gave everything else away. Usually I was the guy who held the bottom of the machine down, so if it ever had tipped over while being rocked, it would have crushed the crap out of me as I crouched there at the bottom of the machine. At the very least I'd have ended up paralyzed. Happened while I was in the navy, I didn't really know the guy, he was in another division on my ship and there wasn't a lot of opportunity to know him. I knew his name and could identify him on sight but that was about it. He apparently dropped a quarter in the coke machine on the mess deck one day and his soda didn't drop. So he's rocking and shaking the machine trying to get his soda to drop and the ship takes enough of a roll at just the right moment to overbalance one of his rocks towards himself. Soda machine came down on him and jacked him up. He later died from the injuries, not sure what, ruptured spleen or something I guess. The next week, all the vending machines on the ship got spot welded to the deck. I think that may have gone navy wide too, can't recall. My hubs is a vending machine repair tech, he's got all kinds of stories, not sure if any resulted in vending machine deaths, but dang, people are all kinds of stupid about these machines, maybe I should ask him to do any armor. Well it's easy to overlook just how heavy some things are. This also happens with things like trees, logs, boats. People are all kinds of stupid about these machines. Especially when you're pee, drunk or mad, and not thinking normally. This guy I worked with wasn't killed by one, but was, presumed, to be severely injured and there was a bunch of ridiculous drama surrounding the mishap. This butthole got both his arms stuck in two separate vending machines. We still aren't entirely sure how that happened. He wouldn't admit to stealing candy but we are pretty sure that was what got him stuck. Anyways, we call fire and paramedics to try and get this dude pride out and it's a whole ordeal. I, T wasn't until they threatened to chop his arms off that he admitted he wasn't actually stuck. He just didn't want to let go of the candy inside. Moron. My biggest question is why vending machines do not have a jiggle mechanism someone can hit after a purchase within a time period that nudges the shelf whatever snack is on should it become stuck. I once bought some peanuts from a vending machine. They got kinda stuck on the way down, so I bashed the machine form side to side, and then they dislodged. Hooray. Then they got stuck in the flap at the bottom you need to put your arm in to pull out your chosen light snack. I had to contort quite a bit to get the and unfortunately it rubbed off the warning about the product containing nuts. I assumed these were the nut free peanuts so dug in happily. Next thing you know I wake up in a brightly lit room with a tube in my throat and try to move but am paralyzed. The paramedics intubated me after I went into anaphylactic shock but didn't calculate the right dose of all the drugs so the sedative wore off before the muscle relaxant. All I could do was look straight ahead. 
Eventually they figured out I was awake and decided I had recovered from my fake story enough to be discharged home. But I sure learned my lesson that day about vending machines. I don't know anyone killed but I know a kid that broke like 2-3 toes trying to rock one. He was in one of the boots for like the rest of the school year. I no longer frick with vending machines at malfunction. That bag of chips is the cost of the game. Okay, here's my story. It was a friend of mine with one of his friends. I didn't know him. They were in a high school cafeteria with Gatorade vending machines. They both go to the machine. One buys a drink. The other buys a drink, but after some clunks from inside the machine, no drink comes out. Keep in mind, Gatorade machines don't have a glass front, just giant buttons. According to my friend, this guy had a temper. So, my friend convinces him to try again with more change before losing his mind. He puts the change in, still no drink. Friend of a friend gets mad and puts both hands on top of the vending machine and starts to rock it back and forth towards him. Do you see where this is going? That's right. After building a bit of momentum, the vending machine swam forward with the focus of a killing machine, grabbing his legs in its mouth and sinking its razor-sharp teeth into his waist. The machine shook him violently before dragging him underwater. I know it's cliche, but a cloud of red blood floated to the surface. That was the last I ever saw of him. I'm a bit confused. What was the question? When I was a toddler, 1991. My dad was helping a few guys move a vending machine at my mother's office. So they called to put it down. One, two, three, but he didn't hear, and they dropped it on his leg. Broke his shin in two. It's true this is rare. No full line vendor I have met in 8 years in the vending industry has ever reported it happening at one of their machines. Video game example. In Bionic Commando. 2009. There are Pepsi vending machines everywhere and Nathan Rad Spencer can pick them up with his bionic arm and hurl them to crush his enemies. Except that no he can't because that would actually be awesome. Instead said vending machines. The post apocalyptic landscape is nothing more than crappy product placement. God that game sucked. And it didn't even have sharks. About three years ago on holiday in Melbourne, Australia, where else? Me and a couple of mates decided to go for a swim after a few pints. We knew there shouldn't be any crocodiles that far south, but were still quite wary of sharks so didn't want to go too far out. Anyways, long story short, one guy decided to swim out a little too far and the next thing we know he's screaming and there's blood in the water. This right big monster of a vending machine had him by the leg and was going for the kill. His foot was trapped in the bit at the bottom where you get your chocolate from and the corkscrews that normally push the tasty snacks out were going full pelt trying to drill into his organs. We managed to drag him out onto land and all the splashing must have scared the machine off because we last saw it swimming away with its cord between its legs. Though not until after it had left a plug whip mark on my shoulder that still hurts to this day. Sadly the guy died of a Milky Way wound to the lower torso. So although they can be dangerous when plugged in, tethered, on dry land, it is in their free and natural state out in the ocean that vending machines are at their most dangerous. Even now I can't buy a bag of crisps at the swimming pool. Not killed but injured. Kid was rocking the machine back and forth the machine landed on him glass face first. The glass shatters but didn't hurt him more than the weight on his hands and wrists. IDK what happened to him other than that but I hope he's alright. We are all a little reckless as kids. For everyone that is actually posting their stories, almost all of these could have been avoided by the machine being bolted down, and it sounds like in most of them that would have been an option. I can understand a couple of them like in the middle of a mall or something, portable to a degree, but for the rest, they could have been secured. Oh well. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
bye for now.